Hello internet allies, how are you doing? So, recently I watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, Sonic writes a bucket list. And that kind of inspired me to write my own bucket list, but I thought I'd make it fun and Disney themed, hey! So yeah, a bit of a weird inspiration, but I'm making a Disney bucket list, so here we go! Ha. So some of these things are going to be inspired by the Disney movies themselves. And some of them are going to just be kind of inspired by the real world and the Disney things that are out there in the real world. Hey. So the first thing on my bucket list is to basically visit every single Disney park in the world. I've only visited Florida and Paris, but I would love to visit the rest of them. I mean, I hear especially good things about Tokyo Disney. And I really hope to go there one day. I mean, I actually know somebody who works over there. So if you're watching this, please give me mates rate discount. Please don't go to Tokyo Disney and please let me visit you as well. <laughs> one thing I'd especially love to do if visiting a Disney park is visit during either Halloween or Christmas. Because, you know, they really kind of go all out when it's Halloween or Christmas, it seems. And I just really love to just kind of experience that like different side of Disney which would be absolutely amazing. Speaking of Disney holidays, I'd love to also go on a Disney cruise because it looks like so much fun. Another thing I really want to do on our next visit to Disney Park is do a few Disney bounds. So Disney bounds are basically, you know, you wear outfits kind of inspired by like certain Disney characters or themed around a certain Disney character. I mean, for an example, like I could wear this hoodie and maybe some like white jeans and you know, I could be like Buzz Lightyear and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool. And, you know, I could do Peter Pan as well. I've got a few ideas, actually, you know. I, 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 could, I could have a lot of fun with it. You know, I see some people do it and it looks a lot of fun. I'd also love one day to stay in the hotel room that's inside the castle in the Disney parks. That's like an exclusive thing. Even if it was just for like one night or whatever, I'd just love to do that. Also, I'd love to collect as many autographs of Disney characters in the Disney parks as I possibly can. I really love doing that. Like, I mean, I know like the Disney characters probably prioritize like children and stuff, but I still love kind of doing the Disney meet and greets and stuff like that. I think it's what makes parks really special. Oh yeah, I would also love to be like part of like a Disney parade as well one day. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> I've also seen videos of Pixar Studios and I think there's like a public area you can visit. So I'd really love to visit Pixar Studios one day and just have a bit of a look around as well or even like do a tour or something like that. I don't know whether that's an option, but I'd love to visit Pixar Studios one day as well. It looks like so much fun. So now for a few things inspired by some of the Disney movies. And my number one thing is actually inspired by Beauty and the Beast. And that is to fall in love and be loved in the return because it seems like one of the most magical things in the world. And obviously whoever I fall in love with must be a huge Disney fan because if they're not, then yeah, like, yeah, it wouldn't last, basically. <laughs> One thing I would love to do with a romantic partner as well is to basically do that spaghetti kiss thing from Lady in the Tramp as well. <laughs> Thinking about what I'm wearing currently, so inspired by Peter Pan, because I've got the Peter Pan hat on, hey hey. I am very young at heart and I really kind of want to maintain that like youthful demeanor. I never really want to grow up and stuff like that. I mean, I'd also really love to like, be able to fly but like I think I've just kind of got to be realistic here. <laughs> Growing up like I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it at all. <laughs> so yeah I still want to keep my like youthfulness, my younger heartedness, my fun loving adventurous spirit, my adventurous nature and adventure is out there. Go on plenty more adventures because adventure is out there. Hey hey inspired by up. Um, another thing inspired by Peter Pan but like also could be inspired by several other movies. You know, I'd love to learn how to like sword fight properly as well. You know, you could say like that could be inspired by Mulan as well, because she's an absolute badass with a sword and whatnot. And also inspired by films like Robin Hood or Brave. Like, you know, I'd love to learn archery as well. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool as well. You know, just a couple of things I'd love to like learn how to do in my life. I'd also like love to learn how to be like an ace cook as well. So based on Ratatouille, hey hey because you know what they're saying right too, anyone can cook. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to like improve on my, like, my cooking ability and whatnot. Also with kind of learning how to be a better cook, I kind of just want to be better at just like any household chores and just like learn how to like make them more like fun. 
So that could be like inspired by like Snow White, Mary Poppins, Enchanted. Come my little friends as we all sing a happy little working song. A spoonful of sugar makes a medicine go down. And also what is it? And we whistle while we work. That whistle wasn't very good. <laughs> Never mind. More things on my bucket list. Uh, do my best to basically protect and save the planet. So basically inspired by Wally and stuff like that. I think we all need to be a bit more sort of like environmentally conscious and stuff like that. I'd also like to kind of be more at one and connect with nature. So that's kind of inspired by Pocahontas. I'd also like to, you know, just kind of go on more adventures, go on more like expeditions if you like. You know, inspired by Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> also do like say what you see on a train, <laughs> you know, so like house, <laughs> car, <laughs> tree. <laughs> yeah, my friend Megan sometimes does that like when I'm driving her around sort of thing. But speaking of like going on more adventures, I'd love to kind of, you know, explore like a jungle. So, you know, got like inspired by like a jungle book and Tarzan and stuff like that. Learn to like swing on a vine maybe or whatever. That'd be pretty cool. Like learn some like, you know, jungle parkour or whatever. <laughs> I'd also love to like visit like Tokyo, so like based on like Big Hero 6. Uh, I'd also love to like explore like, you know, like Hawaii, Pacific Ocean, so like French Polynesia, so inspired by like Moana and Lilo you know, and Stitch. I'd also love to kind of just kind of go sailing on the Pacific Ocean, you know, like Moana does. Yeah, so speaking of Lilo and Stitch, I'd love to like adopt a dog one day who's like a little bit mischievous like Stitch, but also kind of really super friendly and lovable and loving as like Doug from Up as well. I suppose based on like Finding Nemo, I'd love to go like scuba diving, but I wouldn't like basically just kind of kidnap fish or anything like that. <laughs> okay, so this one's inspired by like Alice in Wonderland and like the white rabbit, I really freak out when I'm late for stuff. I just want to be more relaxed about that to be honest. <laughs> okay, so a couple that are like inspired by The Emperor's New Groove, Basically, I'm not gonna let anybody throw off my groove from now on. If you do, you'll be thrown right out that window. <laughs> now, I'll only throw you out a window if it's safe, but like, still, like, it'd be funny to throw someone out a window. <laughs> I know that sounds really, like, really evil, but never mind. I'd also love to have like a secret lab as well. That'd be pretty awesome. I suppose another kind of like evil thing, which is kind of inspired by Sleeping Beauty, is maybe like Gate Crash a party I wasn't invited to, but like, I'd probably only do that if like, I think the person like had forgotten to invite me or something like that rather than they didn't want me there I think like secretly they would want me there but like you know I could just be like surprise it's me hey hey okay so these are a couple of things I've already done so these are a couple of things I can already tick off my bucket list which are based on Disney movies so one of them was seeing God help the outcasts in the Notre Dame I did that when I went to Paris for college. I hope the restoration of Notre Dame's going all right. Not really heard too much about it, but I hope it's going okay. I also played Happy in a School Play once from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which was fun. It, college, I did have the nickname Happy for a while. I've also lit a Sky Lantern, which was really, really nice. The yeah, Sky Lanterns are really, really cool, so that's like inspired by Tangled. I also just collect lots of like random interesting stuff, a bit like Ariel, a bit like Wally. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Please let me know in the comments down below what would be on your Disney bucket list. And until next time, keep smiling. Bye bye.